financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See, man, I'm that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative of the markets. We can make bad trading decisions. Listen, this video has nothing to do with the stock market, has nothing to do with AMC, has nothing to do with anything with stocks at all. But what I try to do, if I see things that I think is important to Americans, important to retail investors, I'm going to do a video on it, okay? And this video has to do with the IRS and Poiseli. It's Poiseli versus the IRS and the Supreme Court rule that the IRS can look into your bank records even though you are not the one under investigation. And not just that, they're able to look at your bank records without your knowledge. So you would not even be aware that the IRS has subpoenaed your bank for your bank transactions. I, well, to me, in my opinion, this is such a crazy abuse of power. And think about the privacy impl implications of this. Think about the privacy implications of this. And, and, and let me try to, to, to simplify it so you can understand. Let's use AMC, for example. You went to AMC. You used your credit card. You bought popcorn, soda, you paid for your movie tickets. Now, somehow, AMC is under investigation by the IRS for some tax purposes. Right now, according to this new ruling, anybody who ever bought anything at AMC movie theaters could now have their bank records pulled without their knowledge because they are associated with AMC movie theaters. Tell me how crazy that is. Tell me how far-reaching that is. Tell me what an invasion of privacy that is. That you don't have to be under investigation. But if you did any type of business whatsoever with the entity that's under investigation, the IRS cannot pull your financial records without even notifying you. Think about how that is going to be abused by the IRS to dig up information on anybody that they want. They'll say, well, he went to the supermarket. Let me see what else he's doing. He went to this car lot. Let's see what else he's doing. He bought this airline ticket at Spirit Airlines, and Spirit Airlines is under investigation. Now we can see what his bank records are. Let's see what else he bought. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. In my opinion, it is serious overreach and is definitely a privacy violation on a next level anyway please leave some comments tell me what you think do you think it's fair that if you just did business with a company that is under investigation the irs has access to your financial records without even notifying you absolutely crazy to me anyway have a great day god bless and i appreciate y'all on this journey with me